Welcome to Power Plus Mobility's educational session. We're going to be talking about the different types of backhands that we have, along with the standard backhands and the configuration of the backhands where we can mount into the chairs. So here we have a STP frame with a backhand in a standard configuration uh, in an upright position, either 21 or 24 inches tall is the standard height. If you need any other types of height, because we are a Canadian manufacturer and we customize everything we do, we can easily cut down the tubing and bring down the price of the, uh, of the back hands. Um, one of the standard features on our back hands is that we have a contoured bend in through here, which pulls the back cane away from the chair, and that allows for the caregiver to reach the back cane and to stroll with the client in it. Um, another nice standard option that we have are adjustable stroller back hands. And the reason we have that is when we do engage in the tilt, depending on the tilt that we have, let's just say 55 degrees of tilt, our caregivers can easily access the stroller bars without having to reach all the way down below and bend to bring them back into a tilt position. So that's a standard option on all, all of our back hands. Another type of back hand that we have is what we call an endomorph back hand. So there's a number of different shape clients out on the market. Take for example somebody who's pear shaped um, and they need a 20 wide chair below but an 18 inch back above. We simply replace these back canes and we put an endomorph back cane in replacement of it. And what that does is it alleviates one inch on this side and one inch on the other side. And now we have a 20 wide chair where we're able to mount an 18 wide back. And we could also do it the other way. So if we had those clients, those gentlemen that are broader in their shoulders, narrower down below. So take for example, we have an 18 wide chair and the client needs a 20 wide back. We could have the back hands mount on the outside. I'll just mount it here above the frame. And now it's sitting in a V shape outward. So we're able to mount a 20 wide back on an 18 wide chair. Uh, this is something that's been around for many, many years, but has been one of those things that I've forgotten, and people just need to be educated a little bit more about it. The cost of putting endomorph back canes on a stand and replacing the standard back cane is zero cost. Our cost of material stays the same, so as long as it's coming from the factory, we'll ship it out according to the configuration. Uh, another option is this bracket assembly that you see down below here. A lot of people ask, what is all of that? What this is, this is an angle adjustable back cane. So by having this hardware, which is universal to all of our chairs, our manual chairs and tilt chairs, we're able to take the degree of back cane and bend it back 5, 10 or 15 degrees to open up the hip angle and accommodate for your seating and positioning needs. This is a standard option. And last but not, not least, the entire backing assembly is mounted onto the upper frame of the STP, which has six holes that run through the upper frame. We can take this upper assembly and move it back by four inches, uh, which allows for uh, the depth of from 16 to 20, or from 20 to 16, and shrinking it. So again, we get depth adjustability, and we're able to adjust for center of gravity where we want these backings on the chair.